we got a good one right here. This one I read. I watched halfway and I had, I had to stop because it was making my blood boil. This is really outlying disgusting. Exclusive. Cop slash black man when he asked him to leave his shop. Right here. Cops arrest man who had asked him to exit the lot. You know, the initial video was, was pissed me off. But the, after there's another video that ran with it that really made my blood boil. Check it out. Indisputable exclusive. Black male business owner arrested by deputies in Texas on his own property because he told them to leave. To leave. Here's the video. Check it out. But I ain't did nothing wrong. That's fine. Like you said, what are you going here checking? What are you taking on? What are you hey, talking to you? I already told you. Did you tell me what? At this point, over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. You didn't put in handcuffs. That's the last time I'm going to tell you. Over here. Listen to the sergeant. I'm not gonna tell you again. Yeah, you know what I said? All the he just picked up, that was his phone. He just threw it on his windshield. Picked up his phone and threw it against his windshield. The guy wasn't even, he wasn't even detained. He was on his own porch, on his own property like that. He wasn't arrest, He wasn't under arrest at the time. He was telling him, like, oh, come over here, we're going to give you handcuffs. He wasn't being detained. He was on the porch. He went back inside. At the time, they didn't send his people to say, oh, he was just arrested. He wasn't arrested at the time. He wasn't even detained. After he was slammed, there's another deputy that decided to do this. The, and this next video made my blow. That, I mean, it did it for me. It did it. Check this out. Here it is. Sergeant, I need to lock up my business. I don't know if he said if he's standing just fine. Guy's near six years old. Uh, to hear what he said, that I was yeah. He said I need to lock up my shop. I need to lock up my business. And the cops go, oh, just to let you know, I'm, I'll come back and rescue myself. I'll take you to jail myself. You know what that means? That cop made it personal because the guy was standing up his, to his right against the tyranny. He was standing up to the cops and telling him, leave my leave my shop, leave my lot. That cop made it personal. Say I don't give. He said I don't care if you have warrants. I'll come back and keep rescuing over and over. I'll take you to jail myself. He made a personal against this guy. Put up the picture for a mask. Once again, this is an indisputable exclusive. Check this out. A business owner in Texas was arrested after he requested deputies looking for another man to leave his auto lot. As he attempted to walk away on his own property, because you can do that when you're not under arrest, walks away, and then they place him under arrest He's a 59-year-old black male. Slam. Slam. An SUV. He then requests an ambulance. Hector County Sheriff's Deputy Patrick Gillis taunts and threatens the business owner. I'm going to come pick. I'm going to take it to jail myself. Yep. You heard it. It's a damn shame. 
Here's the man, Dennis Robertson, who stood on his porch as sheriff deputies asked him to step aside. Robertson says Ector County Sheriff deputies rushed to his used auto lot after they received a tip that a separate man was driving erratically. He had nothing to do with that. Nothing at all. Robertson, who was not involved with the man's driving incident, requested that the deputies conduct their investigation off of his property. Let me pause here just for a moment. Keep that picture up. See it right here. He is not only well within his rights to say that. Yes. He is demonstrating a constitutional dynamic. It and another thing is, you have the right, you have the ability, and it's, it, it is your right. If you're on your own property, it was a business or your own house. If you don't feel, if, if the cops can you like that, you have a right to tell them, I want you to get off my property. I want you to leave my business. I want you to leave my shop. It is your right. And for the cops to tell them, oh, I can do what I want. No, 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 no. Because now they're violating your Constitution Amendment rights. And, I, and you know what the best thing you can do to tell the cops? It's like, you know, I want you to leave. You know, if you got a problem or if you, if you want to have a, if you want a discussion, man, go get a warrant. As simple as that. Go get a warrant. If the officers need to go upon private property in order to arrest an individual or to engage in investigation, they can get a warrant to do Bingo. so. Bingo! That's what judges are for. That's what they sign. Yeah, it's not like the old days where you had to wait like a couple hours. You can, cops can go get a warrant in less than five minutes. They can go at, they can call a judge. They can fucking put it on the phone and say, yep, we got a warrant. We got to search one. We got to search your place. Or we got to arrest We got to take you downtown. And that's why people should always flex their power. If, you, if, they, don't, if they don't want the cops to present there, they should say, I wish you please leave my yard. I'm not talking to you. Please leave my yard. Oh, we're doing an investigation. Well, guess what? You, would you do an investigation on me? Well, guess what? Go get a warrant. Go get a warrant. Get, but until then, get off my property. Get off my property. You go get your warrant. When you get your warrant, when you show me like that, then we, then we can talk. And because of technology, you can get a damn warrant in five minutes. Or less than that. In the body cam, Deputy Gillis asked him to step off of his porch. When Robertson turns to go inside his office, he grabs him and handcuffs him. Now, some people will say, well, well, wait a minute, that was resisting. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That was not resisting. He was not under arrest. He wasn't even detained. He was on his own property, on his own lot. And he just asked the cops, I want you to leave. I don't want you to do your investigation here on my property, on my business or facility. He just asked them to leave, and, and they didn't like that. Oh, no, no, no. And see, in this day and age, you got cops get pissed off when you stand up for your rights. And, you, and here's the thing as well, too. You get, like, Mr. Like Brandon Tatum, you know, an ex-cop himself. He'll sit there and say, and he goes around and says, oh, just obey, just obey, just obey. You know, don't question them, don't question them. You know, you can question them a lot, just, just obey. No, you have the rights there. He, th he's, he thinks of people like, you know, you're dealing with a cop, you should just, you should surrender your rights. Fuck that shit. I'm fucking not surrendering my rights. I'm, that's why in this day and age, you should always do, record the police, FTP. Bench warmer goes around and says, oh, we shouldn't be filming the cops. We have no right to be filming the, the police when they're on official duty. Bullshit we do. We're on the pepper setting. It's our, it is, in this day and age, with tyranny, with corrupt thugs like that, you just saw, we have the right to film and, and exercise our rights. You can walk away from the police. You can. Yes. Legally. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to do it. They get upset. They take it personal. Oh, yes, they do. Uh, that's yeah. why that that's why I call him Turkic person or like that. He said, I will say, just to let you know, I'll come back myself and arrest you. I'll keep taking you to jail. I don't care if you have a warrant. I'll keep taking you to jail myself. He made it personal. They really get mad when you know the law. Oh, yes. Big time. And you try to remind them. And you notice how the cops get pissed off? Demand you stop recording it? Cause you, and that's a big rape play right there. They tell you, to put your camera away. Stop recording. Or they, 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 they assume you, that your phone or your camera is a, is a gun. I just did a story about it about, about, about a, a Seattle PD. We're ready to shoot an unarmed man holding a phone. And that's the thing. When you get cops that tell you to stop, uh, stop recording, stop filming, boom, red flag right there. They got something to hide. Oh, isn't it perverted? Yeah. That individuals who sign up to be law enforcement officers do not love the law? They get mad when you know it? Oh, yes. That's they insane. get pissed off. Here's a photo of Deputy Patrick Gillis. Robinson was circulating around the neighborhood to complain about the deputy. We have it as well. Okay? Look at that. Robinson did file a complaint due to his treatment. This was back in October of 2021. It reads in part, 
I told them I was hurt and needed an ambulance. He still wanted to argue. So I told them I will call the ambulance myself. Then one of the deputies grabbed my phone from my hand and threw it. It hit the windshield of the SUV, causing a small crack. I am totally blind in my right eye and have metal rods in my back. And I'm handcuffed. I'm a handicapped, excuse me, old man. And he slammed the ground, hurting me. Old man. Also, the tall white deputy stated he was coming with me personally. You so heard now it. I am in fear of my safety and from the deputies. Who would not be in fear of a statement like that? You know, first of all, you're being arrested for absolutely nothing. They're on you no property. You no tried to invoke your rights. They yeah. ignored them. They're putting on arrest. They're throwing your cell phone. And then they're saying things like, and I'm going to take you to jail myself. Yeah, and you heard what I was saying. Just to let you know, I'll come back and arrest you over and all. I'll take you to jail myself. And he's like, yeah, how do you like me now? That's tyranny. That cop made up personal. He made it personal because a guy stood up to him and said, I want you to leave my property. He was standing for his rights. That's some scary stuff. That's what it was meant to be. Intimidating. Exactly. And that's why you there's that's why sometimes when you're dealing with cops like that and you feel like you're wrongfully arrested, then you go to do a FOIA request. I've seen cases where people go FOIA uh, a request, a complaint form about the officers that you know, mistreat somebody like that. And guess what happens? I see cops do intimidation force. To harass the people that fire for your request. To a 60-year-old 60 60-year-old 60 man. Put up the picture of the attorney. Here's the attorney. Here is one of Mr. Robinson's attorneys. His name is Roderick Van Daniel from Birmingham, Alabama. He gave this statement about the case directly to Indisputable. He says, and I quote, On October 3rd, 2021, Mr. Dennis Robertson, was unlawfully arrested and subjected to excessive and unlawful force by deputies of the Ector County Sheriff's Office, all while on his own property and place of business. He continued, notably, when Mr. Robertson said, when Mr. Robertson was attempting to call 911 after he sustained serious bodily injuries, a deputy grabbed his cell phone from him and through it causing damage to the phone and his business vehicle. Owning a business He's while a good black one. is not a crime. Not in Ector County, not Texas, and not in the United States of America, the attorney says. Another attorney representing Mr. Robertson also cited us, Supreme Court case, United States versus Sharp, which state, of course, fight alone and not give rise to probable cause, it must be coupled with pre-existing reasonable and articulable suspicion. Here it is. Everyone who wants to say, well, when he turned around, he was somehow breaking the law, not according to the United States Supreme Court. He's not breaking the law because he was not being detained. He was not being detained because they had no reasonable nor articulable he suspicion. suspicion he ever committed a crime. As a matter of fact, they knew good and damn well he committed no crime. They just did not like a black man telling them, get off of my property. They didn't like a black grown man standing up for Here's his rights. Here's the sheriff. Put him up. Here's the sheriff. The sheriff is Michael Griffiths. Robertson said Ector County DA never charged him for interfering with their investigation. Well, good for the DA. All right, Ricky, you see exactly what this is. You know what the point was they were trying to make, trying to just put a black man in his place, trying to flip his life upside down in the process. Thoughts? Yeah, uh, for, uh, uh, first of all, to talk, talk to the man uh, like he was a kid. Yeah. Whatever, you know, that man's probably old enough to be his grandfather. Yeah. For him to be speaking to a man at six years, years old, like that, and he has a right to ask him to leave the property. And uh, a lot of these police officers need to take a class or, or some kind of psychology uh, uh, classes or whatever where they can learn how to deal and communicate with people and not take things personal. Uh, and and uh, the fact the way they treated him and slammed him down. Um, uh, on the ground, and it looked like he turned his off or something. I saw yeah. something happen 
happen with the camera or whatever. And then just the whole condescending tone uh, uh, that he talked to that man, just absolutely no respect. Nobody has no to respect talk to the police. And, and uh, if you don't have a search warrant or whatever and walk away and you ask, and the, and the man asks the police to leave his property, they're supposed to leave. And that's why this George Floyd bill uh, is so, so important. And uh, that officer need to be fired. You need to be fired for the threats alone. Uh, yep. Our, our, our police officers are public uh, officers. You know, one thing is that you would think cops nowadays would learn a, a good, valuable lesson from the five, the six uh, Memphis cops beat the crap out of Tyree Nichols. I guess not. Public servant. And that's just absolutely terrible. And it's funny because you can be catching these cases on camera. Just imagine the things that we don't see. Yeah, good point. Yeah, that's right. The things that we don't see, the things that are hidden better. Right? Yeah. It's another case of Happy Fuck the Cops Day. And what is Tuesday? Valentine's Day. So, Happy Fuck the Cops Day times two, baby! Fuck the police! All right, my name is Mike. Peace out.